are we doing here, Blaster? Oh, another adventure? And we're gonna learn about what? Awesome! We're gonna learn about the fastest animals in the entire world. Hey, are these animals faster than people, Blaster? They are? Well, what's the fastest human in the entire world? How fast can they run? 23 miles an hour. I can't believe animals can go faster than that, but I trust you. All right, how does this work? Okay, Blaster is gonna give us some clues and then you and I have to guess what animal he's talking about. We're ready for our first clue, Blaster. Here we go. Ba -ba -blast. <laughs> oh, we're in the sky. So this must mean this animal flies in the sky. All right, we got it right. And what's our second clue? Really? Blaster says that this animal has vision eight times better than a human. All right, I think I know what this is, but Blaster, why don't you show us? If you were thinking about a peregrine falcon, you're right. But just how fast can a peregrine falcon go? Well, at their fastest, peregrine falcons can reach speeds of 238 miles per hour, making them the fastest animal in the world. We don't know of any other animal that can move as fast as a peregrine falcon. To achieve this top speed, peregrine falcons do what's called a stoop, where they dive straight down toward Earth, bringing their wings close to their body. But going super duper fast isn't their only super duper power. Peregrine falcons can also see from really long distances. A peregrine falcon can spot its prey from an entire mile away. Plus, while soaring through the sky or perched high on a tree, they can keep track of three moving objects at once. Let's all give it up to the absolutely fastest animal of them all, the Peregrine Falcon. Peregrine Falcons are the coolest. The fastest animal in the world. Incredible blaster. I think I'm ready for our next super fast animal. All right, let's go to our first clue. Oh, we're under the ocean. So this must mean, I got it, okay. This is an animal that lives in the ocean, all right. But I need a second clue, Blaster. Wow, this animal is a fish and it changes colors based on what kind of mood it's in. Huh, it lives under the ocean, it changes colors, and it goes really fast. I don't know, Blaster, help us out. Here we go. Reaching speeds of 68 miles per hour, the sailfish tops our list as one of the fastest animals on the planet. One feature that allows them to torpedo through the water is their large dorsal fins. New word alert, new word alert. Did you hear me say the words dorsal fins? A dorsal fin refers to the fin coming out of the back of aquatic animals. And the dorsal fin of a sailfish? Well, they're huge. Just look. And as the blaster mentioned, sailfish can change color based on their mood. Scientists believe that these nearly instant color changes could be a form of communication between other sailfish. Wow, these fish are fast and talented. Wow, blaster, sailfish are super cool. All right, let's go to our next super fast animal. Here we go. Wow. So this animal must live in the grasslands of Africa. All right, that's a pretty good first clue, but I'm ready for our second clue, Blaster. What is it? Oh, it has spots and the long tail. Okay, and it's super fast. 
I know exactly what animal this is. Let's go meet this one. You got it right. It's the carnivorous cat, the cheetah. New word alert, new word alert. Did you hear me say the word carnivorous? Carnivorous refers to animals who eat meat. And cheetahs catch their next meal by reaching speeds of 80 miles per hour. Next time you're riding in a car, truck, or bus, look out the window and imagine a cheetah passing you by. They run faster than most cars go on the road. So can a cheetah run that fast and make sharp turns and change directions and keep their bodies upright while still keeping an eye on their prey? Well, they can, and we have their tail to thank for that. The tail of a cheetah is kind of like the rudder you would find on a boat. It stabilizes the cheetah and helps keep them balanced. All hail the cat with the great tail, the cheetah! Hey, Blaster, I got a quick joke for you. Why do you never play cards in the grasslands of Africa? <laughs> no, because it's full of cheetahs. Okay, okay. Let's go to our next animal. Ooh, we're back under the ocean. Another animal that must swim really fast. That's our first clue. Second clue, Blaster, we're ready. Oh, yeah, of course, show me. Ah, Blaster! Oh, I thought this was a real shark, Blaster. It's just a toy shark. Okay, so this must be a really fast shark that lives in the ocean. And what's that? They're known to jump into boats occasionally? Okay, we gotta go learn what this animal is all about. Think you can outswim a mako shark? Think again. These intelligent sharks can reach massive speeds, with some estimates as much as 80 miles per hour, giving the mako shark the nickname, the cheetah of the sea. But unlike cheetahs, they have been known to jump into boats. <laughs> but don't worry, it doesn't happen too often. Let's leave the mako sharks in the ocean and uh, go to our next animal. Whoa, that was so fun, Blaster, thanks. Do we have one more fast animal? No? Aww. What? Oh. Blaster wants to show us a really slow animal. Okay, since we've seen so many fast ones, that makes sense. Here we go. We're high up in the trees. I guess this animal must live in the trees. Is it a bird? Nope. Hmm. Okay, well give us another clue. Blaster says that this animal takes 30 days to digest one leaf. I don't know what that could be. A caterpillar? I don't know, Blaster, help us out. Here we go. The letter S doesn't just stand for sloth. It also stands for slow. The sloth at its fastest, and it's not very fast, can only move 0.17 miles per hour. That's not even a full one mile per hour. Trust me, these animals are some of the slowest on our planet. And you know, all that climbing sure tires these sloths out. That must be the reason that sloths typically sleep up to 18 hours per day. That's almost spending an entire day asleep. And luckily, sloths don't need to use the bathroom every day. In fact, guess how often a sloth goes potty? Only about once a week. <laughs> These sloths are still so cool. Wow. Animals are all so different, but whether they fly, swim, run, go super fast or super slow, they're all really cool to me. Thanks, Blaster, for showing us today. Okay, and thank you for being here. We'll see you on the next adventure. We hope you had a ba-ba blast. Bye for now.
blast. <laughs>